new tracks have been added to this project by GarageBand iOS. Do you want to import the new tracks? Yes, drum roll please. I wanted to see if we can go from GarageBand iOS to Mac and back and how that all works here because I'm an absolute novice in GarageBand Mac and instead of testing this all out beforehand, I thought, let's just try it. Let's have a bit of an experiment with this and see how we go. We have a GarageBand iOS project. This is the project I did with the Mark Ronson pack. Let's just take a quick listen to it. Funk air, yeah. So you may remember this one from a couple of weeks back when we took a look at this pack for the first time. So what I want to do, this has got a whole bunch of stuff on here. We've got uh, all sorts of different loops and samples and things. The majority of them are from the Watch the Sound pack, which as we now know from the intro has been updated to now be compatible with Mac. So <laughs> let's give it a crack, shall we? So what we need to do is, Siri, didn't talk to you, is save out of there. There you go. We've saved out. Watch the sound demo two. This is the one that we're going to be using. So this is saved in my tutorial songs folder here in my GarageBand for iOS folder. So that's where we need to go because all these are on iCloud Drive. This is why iCloud Drive is important. Important to save your stuff here on iCloud Drive. It just makes it easier when you're trying to do something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, uh, grab our Mac version. Boom. There we go. And what we can actually do. If you weren't aware, you can open a GarageBand project. We're going to close this one first just to give ourselves uh, some blank space here. We can actually open a GarageBand project, an iOS project here in GarageBand on Mac. So what we're going to do is we are, oh, we're going to open existing project down the bottom here. We're going to click on that one and we're going to go to our iCloud drive. We're going to go to GarageBand for iOS, sort by name. All right, that's better. <sighs> GarageBand iOS, it is in tutorial song and it is watch the sound demo too so here's the one it took us a while but we got there so this is the one we want what we're going to do is hit the open button there this is an ios project but what it'll do it'll come in here and it will open this one uh, in fact it'll it wants us to save it as here so it wants us to save it because it has to convert it to a mac project so i'll do that but again i like using and i've got to work out how to do this to set this as my default i'm going to use this garage band for mac folder here on iCloud Drive, just so that I can keep things all on my iCloud Drive for backup purposes. All right, the plugin named Rough Rider 3 isn't available for your system and the plugin named Wider. Okay, so there are a couple of things I did here. I must have put Rough Rider 3 and I must have put Wider on here, which are AUV3 plugins in iOS. These won't work in Mac. So it's telling me that, that's cool, we'll continue. We can continue without them. Some additional content is needed for this project. Do you want to download it now? Well, you know I do. So we'll hit the download button. And what this will do, it'll go away. And I've never done this before. Uh, it looks like there's a progress bar at the top there. A download bar. This should be downloading the Watch the Sound Pack into my loops in my GarageBand for Mac. There it goes. It wants a password to, to download these. Uh, this is for, for the Apple stuff. So I'm going to flick away here for just a moment. Hopefully there's no mirrors reflecting my keys while I type in my password. So up in the top corner, I've got the, you can't see here, it says sounds for Watch the Sound Demo 3 were successfully installed. A little GarageBand notification that popped up. And if we come on over, back over to here, you'll see that we are all good to go. Uh, it's giving me this error again here. So we'll go, okay, we'll continue with that. And now we should be good to go. So if I've done everything correctly, what we should find is that this project will now sound, yes, we get it. They're not there. We understand. <laughs> Why does it keep loading it again and again? All right. So we should be good to go here. We should have this entire project here. So drum roll, please. We'll turn up the volume on the Mac and hit play. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Rolling in the street I don't even know the words. <laughs> All right. So that is good. It's it, By default, it's put this loop thing on, so we'll take that off. Uh, so, so that's all cool. And all these things are actually in here. So these loops were not part of GarageBand Mac. They had to actually be downloaded. These keys were not part of GarageBand Mac. They had to be downloaded. Uh, so all of the different sounds that we had in here and the beats and the beat sequencer and the drum kits, they're all there. So we'll zoom in on this one just so that we can see our whole track. There it is in all of its glory. And uh, that's done. So here's the challenge. We wanted to see if we can now bring this on back to iOS. Now, I'll give you the spoiler on this. We can't, not directly, 
but we kind of can. And there's a way that we kind of can that I'm going to show you here now. So what we can do, and this is uh, only the second time I've ever done this, so please bear with me while I stumble my way through it. Here it is, share project to GarageBand for iOS. So we're going to do this. We're going to share it to GarageBand for iOS. And again, because we've got our folder structure here all working well, we're going to go back to GarageBand for iOS. We're going to go back to that tutorial songs folder, and we're going to call it Watch the Sound Demo. And just so that I know what I'm doing here, we're going to say From Mac. So we're going to call it Tutorial Songs, Watch the Sound Demo from Mac. We're going to hit Save. So this is saved and exported this. Keep this in mind. This version, the Watch the Sound Demo 3, that's on our GarageBand for Mac folder, now becomes the, the link project. This now becomes the project that we need to use from here on in. And this is one of the limitations. We're not now going to be able to send it back to iOS and then use iOS as our main platform for mixing and mastering and doing all that sort of stuff. So once you go Mac, you can really never go back, but you kind of can. And that's what we're going to show you here. So let's minimize that one here to reveal our iPad hiding in here behind. Now, if we go back into this tutorial songs folder, uh, we should be able to find the new one in here. Here it is. Watch the sound demo from Mac. Now it's downloading at the moment and you might already notice here that it's only 1.1 megabytes. That's weird. We'll tap on this one. You'll see in a moment why it's only 1.1 megabytes because once it downloads and opens, yeah, She's a stereo file, <laughs> right? Stereo file. So uh, when we play this here, it'll play fine. Yeah. No problem at all. Stereo file though. So it's not really going to help us out here in terms of adding things. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. All right. Now, because we know that we've had some of these other packs updated, what I'm going to do is we're going to add here. We're going to go. Now, which, which one was it that got updated? Was it the uh, was it the take a, take a day trip? So what I'm going to do is add in. Let's just add in a random keyboard sound. And we'll go to recently downloaded. We'll go to the take a day trip. And we'll just find another sound. Let's just grab whatever this is. The Route 22 reverberation synth. Yeah, that this might actually work. What, a, what key do we play this in? For some reason, it was in B. So let's just uh, record something here in. We'll do this. One, two, three, four. Rolling down the street. There you go. So that has recorded in there, right? Route 22 reverberation synth from this particular pack. Let's now choose another sound from a pack that doesn't have this compatibility. Now, this is all new to me, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Let's just use a uh, an effects here from the Tank Tank Girl. I keep calling it Tank Girl from the Track Girl pack. We'll use the uh, Heavenly Voices Choir. We'll just uh, use it, that just to put a little bit of a, an effect in here. So that's all we need to do. Just put the one little stab in there just so that we know that there's something in there. So we've added these in here. Now, at this point, I'm, I'm a bit nervous because I don't really know what's going to happen when one's compatible and one's not. But you and me, we're going to find out together. So <laughs> what we need to do is save out of this project. We're going to save out and that saves this one into this Watch the Sound demo on Mac. Now, notice it's got the cloud icon there. That means it's pushing it back up into the cloud. And once that goes away, it means it's completely done. And then we can go back to Mac and actually check it out. There you go, it's uploaded. The size is bigger now, we can tell that all is good in the world. But is it? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop doing that now. <laughs> Let's go back to GarageBand Mac. Uh, and what we're gonna do is uh, we'll close out of this project to start with. So we'll go just to file and we'll close just to make sure that everything is all hunky-dory. We're gonna save the we'll Watch The Sound Demo 3. If we go back to open existing project, now this is where I got tripped up last time I showed this, is that I went and found the iOS project and tried to open that one here in Mac. But what we actually need to do is open this. But wait, there's more. Can you see here it's downloading? Uh, is that downloading or uploading? Maybe it's uploading. We'll, we'll probably need to wait for this. But if we open it now, it might ask us to wait. So if we hit the open button on that one now, it's going to download it. Yet those plugins are still in there that shouldn't be. And look at this. New tracks have been added to this project by GarageBand iOS. Do you want to import the new tracks? Yes, drum roll please. Do you want to import the new tracks? I do. Let's see if they work. Sampler instrument Route 22 Revelation Synth not found. Now that was one from the from the Take a Day Trip pack. So that's not found. Changes are imported successfully. Uh, share to GarageBand iOS again to edit the project further. So here's the thing. 
Now that it's back in Mac, we need to reshare it if we want to do more. So we can't now go back to that iOS project. The iOS project just is kind of like a placeholder for adding things in. Here we go. Some additional content is needed. Do you want to download it now? Let's download it. Let's see what this does. This is all fascinating. So this is interesting to me. And look, you're watching a show called GarageBand Users. So hopefully it's interesting to you as well to see what this actually does. There's our progress bar at the top. Now I've got a message up over here. It's just the plugins again. I should remove them. I'm going to get that every time. So what have we got here? All right, we've got the Heavenly Voices Choir and we've got the, the Route 22 Revelation Synth. Yes, the plugins aren't supported. So both of them seem to be here. This is interesting. Um, we'll turn the volume back up and we'll just solo these two because I thought... Is that the right sound? Yeah, I think so. Um, and we definitely had that... Uh, man in it. So it was the, the Track Girl one was the one that we thought we thought wasn't going to come in here because I thought it wasn't actually updated. This is where it gets a bit fiddly because we need to reshare this, yeah? We need to export this project again. Project to GarageBand for iOS. We need to save it on our iCloud drive in our iOS folder. We'll put it back in tutorial songs and we'll call it Watch the Sound Demo from Mac 2. And then we know that this is going to be the one that we want to use. So we'll hit save. It's going to export it out and it's going to save that as a GarageBand for iOS project. So that's exported now. What we'll do is we'll close out of that just again so we don't get confusion going on here. Yeah, we'll save, the, we'll save that version. We'll jump back into the background here. Boop, pop over here and we'll go back to GarageBand for iOS. So let's open up. We're here in tutorial songs. We should be able to find the latest version of this now. This one here, watch the sound demo for Mac 2. It'll download it and it's back in here again. Oh, wait, <laughs> you know what I did? I left those soloed. <laughs> I left those soloed. So this time around, let's just add a bunch of stuff. Let's just go nuts with this. So we'll go into the loops here. We'll uh, filter these by the sound packs. We'll, we'll use um, a sound pack that we know is definitely not updated, which is the Mark Letary. Where are you, Mark? Come to me. There you are. By the way, this one has some wicked sounds. Uh, you want to check this one out. Yep, all loops, filter, Apple loops, back to here, and then bring in one of these. So let's uh, let's go with the, oh, hang on, why do we have, why do we have everything? And just Mark Letary. There we go. Now we've got all these delicious. Uh, let's go with something cool. Yeah, let's go with some chords. These aren't going to be in the right key or anything, but we'll just throw that in there. While we're here, let's just grab another pack that we know is not in there, because I'm just intrigued by this. It seems like maybe behind the scenes, they've actually updated all of these, or maybe only those ones were not updated originally. But hey, let's go to the Tom Mersch pack, because that one definitely hasn't had an update since the first one. And we'll just grab the bone dry break, and we'll bring these in. So now we've changed this song completely. That almost sits in the groove, doesn't quite. So that's added in there. This will do the same thing that it did before. So we're going to save out of this one. There you go. So it's saved in this version from the Mac version. It'll upload to iCloud Drive. And then again, as we go back to Mac, go back, back to the Mac, it will uh, be allow us to open up this project. So if we open existing project again, and uh, where are you? Where'd, where'd, you where'd, where'd it go? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we opened up this Watch the Sound Demo 3. What we should find is it'll give us this notification again to say, hey, you, you imported some new stuff. Ooh, see, again, it's saying, oh, you know what? Sampler instrument not found. Maybe it's using a different instrument. Maybe. New tracks have been added. Let's import them. Uh, import successful. Uh, yes, we need to download the content. So now here it's going to go ahead and download the content. And what I should really do and what I recommend you do is go through each pack and add one loop or sound from each pack and then bring them into GarageBand Mac and then you'll get all the sounds there. Because here it's asking us for additional content again. We're going to hit download and it's going to download some more content. There it goes. The plugins are still not there. So maybe it's, it's grabbed that synth now because that was one of the things. It's not giving us that error anymore. It's just the plugin errors. So this should all be good. So now we've got these in here. And is this going to bring in these correct ones? Yeah, we get you. We know. Plugins are not there. They look good. Let's solo them and let's play this track over here. There you go. So I'm, I'm at a bit of a loss here because... I think Patrick was right, but I think it was probably that, because uh, again, Patrick's only going based on what Apple told him, but it looks as if all of these packs have the ability to be brought into GarageBand Mac. 
I'll need to do some more testing. We won't do it all here today because that's probably enough for that. But hopefully you learn a couple of things here. That is that uh, number one, you can go from iOS to Mac and then back to iOS and then back to Mac. But there's a few little things you have to uh, keep in mind with that, that you can get the iOS sound packs, including the uh, patches for your keyboards, the audio presets and the loops over into Mac. But again, a few things that you have to keep in mind with that. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, for whatever reason, it seems that all the others may have already been working. It's just those, th maybe those four packs weren't working and the update was to make them work. 